Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm, I'm Jerry Chris. I'm out of Lapine, Oregon. Uh, we're going to tie a, a damsel nymph uh, for, for lake fishing. Uh, we're going to use uh, uh, plastic eyes on this one because we'll, we're going to go into eyes a little bit here. This is a, just a commercial grade. Pick them off and you can get them olive, red, green, uh, yellow. Uh, we're going to use a, a pair of black ones uh, today. Um, if you want to weight this fly, you can use uh, the old chain eyes. This is a gold chain, that, uh, a chain, bead chain. Um, you see that black, I just took, hung it like that in the air and spray painted the black. Um, you could spray paint them olive, you can spray paint them red. Um, so you can buy yourself a gold one or a silver one and just basically cut it in half and you can make yourself, you know, red, green, gold, whatever color you want. Uh, just by spray spray painting them, and that would give you a weighted one if you wanted to do that. Uh, we're just going to do a light one uh, to make it a, a floating one. Okay. Um, we're going to put the eyes on now. Um, now we, yeah, we put the you put them on at the beginning or the or the end. It really makes no difference uh, with this. So we'll attach some thread right up in the front. And I kind of when I attach the eyes, I just put them sideways. Don't try to get them. Don't try to get it all across and in position yet. Just put a couple of wraps, soft wraps, and pull them in position. Do a little X, even up this side. Uh, you'll find that the plastics, uh, the plastic, we usually have a the, sh the shank on them between the two eyes is is a little long maybe, but um, but it works out. And you want to leave some space at the, in the front between the hook eye and the eyes on this. Um, you'll see that you know this is. Damsels are really kind of long, but I've got a little short hook. Well, that's because I'm going to let this, the tail of this fly hang off the back. Um, and we'll give it a lot of room to move around. Uh, because these little, these guys, when they're in the water, they're, they're oh, two-thirds of their back, back in or moving around when they're moving around through the water. So we have the eyes attached in a good enough way. Uh, for right now, we'll get more thread up there in a little bit. We'll add a little lacquer. Just to... Let that settle a little bit. I'm going to take this as Arctic Fox tail. Um, I use a lot of Arctic Fox, Fox in my streamers and uh, steelhead flies. Um, I like the tail because the tail has more of this, this hairs, the hairs, not the underfur. Uh, the body has more underfur than hair, um, and it makes it. And the underfur is real good dubbing. So when we're going to clean this up, because we're going to put a light color in the tail here, and um, and we're, we're going to do some do some some changing in colors. Um, if you go on the internet and you look up damsels, you will find that you'll find this pale green like this, or chartreuse or fluorescent green color is is like a veiling, and the bodies of the real insect is really kind of dark. And um, a, a friend that I tie with. Um, uh, Wes Wada out of Central Oregon. Wes has done a lot of research on, on this and a real good photographer and a good art guy. And he finds that it's, um, that the body is really dark, the body itself, but the, as the body gets out towards the outside edge of the body, it's very translucent. So between him and I, we've been trying to replicate that and duplicate that look. So we're going to take, and we're going to even the tips up, and I'm just going to drag and put hair back. It's kind of one of the things you and if you get used to that, you just do it a couple of times, uh, and you'll you'll find a, a place to do that. So now we're going to put a a long tail in this. I'm going to wrap it down in tight in in nice wraps. My threads catch in here a little bit. And I'm using a darker thread because I want this body to be dark. Okay, we're going to leave that excess. Don't cut that off yet. Uh, we don't want that. We're going to use uh, some of that. So now we got this dark thread in there. So now we're going to take a, a, a dark dubbing, and I'm really going to take a dark color of, of Arctic Fox. I'm going to take some of this under fur out of here, so I'm going to cut... I'm going to twist this hair, by the way. Um, I'm going to take this about what I want. So I'm going to put a twist. I'm going to put a twist in this. And I'm going to make my cut right at the base. 
for that. And then when I get everything comes out that I wanted, I'm just going to reach in here and I'm going to take some of this. Let's take that here. So got, now I got this under first. Now I'm going to pull it apart and put it back together. You can use a thread body if you like. Um, you can get the ones out of your lake or whatever you have if you can capture one. Um, you can try to, again, we're trying to duplicate the food. We're not trying to do something, we're not making spoons or lures. Well, we, we're we trying to duplicate what's in the, what's in your area, what, what the food sources are. So now we're going to put in this little darker, and it's not much. You'll see that when I get it on here, it's, it's, it's not that much darker. But when you get it in the water, you, everything else gets a little darker. So we'll get the nice, we'll build a nice body out of this. It has a little edge to it, so it, it'll, it'll make the water move also. So you see it's just a little darker. So now we're going to come up in the front, and we're going to pinch that down. And now we're going to cut that off. It stands up a little bit, it stands up a little bit. We're going we're gonna to lay it down anyway. If it covers over the hook eye, we're just going to drive the rafts back. We're not too worried about that up there. So now we have that. There are some people that fish just that. They would fish just that. We'll clean this up a little bit. So now we're going to take that dark color, or actually the light color again, some hair. There's a nice little section. And a twist. Cut at the base. Cut right through that little twist that you made. Again, I'm going to pull this all out. Again, that's great dubbing. It's wonderful dubbing. So now I'm going to spread this out. And I'm going to even the tips up again. Pull out, put back. Pull out, put back. And I didn't get quite all the under fur out of there. I wasn't so worried about this time of getting it perfect, perfectly clean. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this out in my fingers. So see that I'm spreading it out. Make like a little flat fan there. And I'm going to lay that, and I'm going to make the tips of that come just about to the base of the tail. So we're not going to use a whole lot of this. I'm going to lay that right over the top. And all I'm going to do is take a soft wrap. I'm going to flatten the thread out just a little bit. Take a soft wrap. And I'm going to let that there, and I'm going to drag that around a little bit. And spread that out. And I'm going to make that material come back. Really, the length is going to be just just into the tips that are just blending into the tail. Take one, two wraps. And I'm going to come in back of the eyes and take another wrap and two. Now I'm going to bring this whole thing back over the top and tighten that down. And then I'm going to come in here and all I'm going to do is make a little cut. that off. Come back up front. Wrap that right in there. Now, another little trick, if you wanted to, you could add, before you wrap that backwards, you could put a little flat, a couple pieces of crystal flash or something back across the top if you wanted. And I kind of look at that and I go, well, it's a little too long. And cut a little shorter. And there. And when we get this wet, this whole, this will kind of blend down and you see that'll be kind of light and dark, which is what we're after. We're after trying to get a little translucency over the outside. And then as we get back to the back of the fly, to through the tail end, then it gets light in color. And when you see them in videos, that's, that's all they'll do. And we'll fish this uh, on a sinking line. 
Um, we can fish it on a, on a floating line uh, off, the, uh, off the back of a streamer if you want to use a two fly setup, uh, that, would, that would work. Um, but anyway, that's a little, and you look underneath and you'll see there's that dark body. There's the darkness, and then as you get to the top and around the top, you get to kind of a translucent color. And that's our little damsel nymph.